We got a car that's driving pretty reckless around the area and we're stopping uh, right here. 525 traffic. 525, go ahead. Rosa Parks and Knowles. Hi, can you stop the car, please? Do you know why I stopped you? Yeah, I do. I was spinning my tires over the corner. Yeah? I agree. And what's what's the deal? Just got a new car or something? You want to test it out? I was just showing my friend. Showing the power? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I used to own a 1974 Grand Torino, so I, I know where you're coming from. Yeah. 74, you got a 74 Grand Torino? It's a Starsky and Hutch oh, wow, car. That's awesome, dude. Yep. I got a 72, and this is a 72. All right. Well, do you have a license? I do have a license. All right. Would you like to see it? I'd love to, yeah. That's my license. All right. Okay, sit tight, and I'll be right back, okay? Thanks, sir. Yep. He was pretty straightforward about why he was spinning his tires and whatnot. And there's no signs of impairment from him. Yeah, it looks like he's valid and he's uh, been honest with me. I'm gonna cut him a break and uh, hopefully it'll change his behavior and he won't need to show off his, uh, his hot rod anymore. All right, Steve, I appreciate you being honest with me and uh, Oh. Yeah, I can't see the road, bro. You're not. You, all you need to see is me. You don't need to see the road. You're not driving right now. No, but the light is like in my both my mirrors. Okay, just relax. I am relaxing, but I'm just. I'm telling you right now that I can't see the road. I know, but I'm telling you, you don't need to see the road. I'm just talking to you. So. So how am I supposed all to right. drive? When, when this traffic stop is done, you'll be able to drive away. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. As I was saying, I appreciate you being honest with me. You're right, we'll be honest with you, because that's what happens when you pull me over, right? Right. Yeah, but you'd be surprised how many people are not honest with me. So, anyway. I, uh, I straight told you. I spun. Yeah. That's my girlfriend called me. Thank you. Okay. I spun my tires, because my homeboy right here, mm -hmm. he never he never been in a 74 Ford Maverick. Mm-hmm. I'm just, you know, we were just goofing. I turned off my car for you. Sorry to offend you. I spun my tires for him. Yeah. Have you had anything to drink tonight? I had a couple drinks. A couple drinks? I had a couple like drinks. two, four, eight? I think I had three drinks. Three drinks? Three drinks. And when was that? Two hours ago. I won't spin my tires anymore, I yeah. promise. I know. Actually, my suggestion is that you uh, take a ride at this next block, park it, and then walk home. Walk home? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do what he says. Because. You want to walk home? Home? That's fine yeah. with me. If, that, if that's what needs to be done, well, then we'll do it. Yeah, because the other route is to invest. I gave you my whole. Uh, no, you you have that. You just gave me those things. No, I did not. No, I gave you my whole wallet. No, you didn't. That's. No, I had to say that's. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll get out of my car and tell you that's. You're not going to get out of your car until I tell you to. Well, officer, I'm telling you, I gave you my whole thing. I told you. Won't you find it then? Here. Partner, what's between your legs? On the seat. Oh, thank you. I'm not shaking your hand. Okay. What you're going to do is you get out of your car. You proved me you're wrong. Gonna... You proved me wrong. I know. You proved me wrong. I put it in my lap and I, you proved me wrong. I thought Wait. I gave, I thought I gave it to you. I thought I gave it okay. to you. I'm sorry. I'll get out of my car. No, you're going to stay there for a second. I, I'm sorry, officer. I... 525, is there a traffic unit available? I'm sorry. I thought I did. All right, we'll sit tight, okay? I don't want you getting out of the car yet. You guys just hang tight, and we'll be back with you in a little bit, okay? All right. All right. I called for a traffic unit to come and help me evaluate him under the suspicion of driving under the influence of alcohol. This first uh, field sobriety test is walk and turn test. Basically, he's supposed to be taking nine steps heel to toe uh, down the line, keeping his balance. A sober person can do this very easily, but he's having a lot of problems. I'm a little drunk. One six, I'm right. drunk. He admitted to drinking. Seven. Uh, he said he had about three drinks in the last hour. Eight. Nine. 
Ten. Little drunk. Go ahead and put your hands behind your back. Okay. So you're placing you under arrest for driving under the influence of intoxicants, okay? Yeah, yeah, you're right. You know, when I first told you, I was almost willing to give you the chance to, to walk away. Officer, I told you I was willing to walk away. But you started to get a little mouthy with me. No, I didn't. And you kind of talked yourself into this. I, okay. told, I told her, I thought I gave him my license. I understand, but the more you talked, the more I knew you were intoxicated. And I told you I was been drinking. I know. All right, come with me. You know, I really appreciate it if I get some water. I had three shots at the bar and I had three drinks. That's rough stuff, man. That's what I drink. All right. So I'm going to jail. I'm, like, dehydrated. And why, uh, why did you think it was okay to drive tonight if you drank that much? Because I was... 16 blocks for home. I've done it many times before. You know, people, there's a lot of people that get killed from people with that with that kind of idea. Well, you know, many times I usually carry water and uh, I need some water right now. Well, that wouldn't help the fact that you're a drunk driver. Uh, yeah, it would if I'm not dehydrated. I need some water. Okay. He's going to be charged with uh, DUI and uh, probably charge him with reckless driving as well. Seeing how drunk he was, I'm really glad we pulled him over and got him off the road.